back here. I think my magic is as good as Donald's now. No way, not in a million years. Why don't you go see Merlin? Work more on your magic. There's a tournament being held at the Coliseum. I hear there's a great reward for the winner. Alright, so let's go back to Traverse Town and talk to Merlin. Uh, you could if the Heartless had her heart. Kind of. There's only so much you can do when you control the Heartless. You'd have to know which Heartless had her heart. I'm gonna talk to Merlin and then I'll save. You're making excellent progress. Here's something for your effort. Spellbinder Keyblade. Keep it up! So, once you get one, uh, the, at least the lowest level of every spell, you can get the Spellbinder Keychain. But the other problem is that the Heartless don't have Kyrie's heart. But they don't. And they know that much that they don't know where it is. Yeah, pretty much. You, you have the power to summon them and to give them a general area of attack, but that's it. Warp drive. We don't, we, we, if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't know necessarily that the Heartless didn't have a hiding heart. But they know it, because they can talk to the Heartless enough to know that much. Alright, let's do this tournament real quick. Or at least I assume they know that much. Pegasus Cup. Enter together. have a, uh, uh, an animal level of intelligence like they can be intelligent in a certain way but they don't they don't really communicate I don't think fat bandit large body pot spider this is a pain in the butt The team names of the tournament could be pretty entertaining. Pots and bolts. So this one's pretty entertaining, right? Because they kind of look like bolts and kind of like nuts and bolts. Ha! <laughs> 
There are some Heartless that are more intelligent than others. That's the power of the we, of course, haven't run into those yet. Black Fungus, this is a pain in the butt. And now they're all stone and I can't do a dad dumb thing to them. And Donald and Goofy will get themselves killed trying. Maybe they're metal instead of stone. There we go. Either way, you can't hurt them, and it's a pain. And you really can't make Donald and Goofy stop attacking. Pots and barrels! Heal. One of the changes they made to magic from Kingdom Hearts 1 to Kingdom Hearts 2 is that... Your healing spells heal everybody. In range of the target. Oh, I am out of magic. the fat bandits from the front when they're taking the deep breath in. Oh, one more time. Leon and Yuffie. Well, we fought Leon before, but Yuffie is a new bucket of fun. She likes to throw shirt down. And they're holding shurikens because why not? Like my teammates are not helping me out with squall anymore. <laughs> Alright, one down. The odds are even. That's not a thing I remember Squall being able to do. Get this. Come on. Hey. Hey. Saying the same thing over and over again is not clever, Squall. Sick. 
No way. There we go. Alright, that's another Coliseum tournament completed. Artisan hero. We're the champs! Uh, let's see, the stream is seven and a half hours old, so I think we're about six hours, six and a half hours into the game. Oh, oops, I'm skipping over this conversation. They're talking about being a hero. It's not a riddle. Uh, yeah, we're at almost seven hours. So we've got eight hours more. Oh, what time is it? 5.53. All right, let's save. Oh, and I can't. When the when the save point is one of the spinny thing instead of a um, instead of a glowing thing on the ground, that means you can't. Um, it means you can't teleport to the gummy ship from it. Can use Blizzard to put out these fires. Deep freeze! Deep freeze! And See ya! Put them all out. See ya! Something happens. But I forget what. Ah, there's the chest. Holy gee. Mithril. So we are more than halfway through the game at this point. And... Uh... Less than halfway through our allotted time, so we're doing pretty good. Though if it actually takes me close to 15 hours to beat this game, I'm going to be in trouble. I don't know that I'll be able to finish it tonight. Uh, warp drive. Especially because I'm going to do... I'm going to... Actually, wait. I don't want to be here. Can I warp drive here? I need to take a probably 10, 15, maybe even 20 minute break, depending on how quick they are, to feed the little puppers. fish with him, but he left the fishbowl, interestingly enough. Go back to the gummy ship, and then we'll fly here. along. I'm 
still awake for now. I was just telling Tally and whoever else is paying attention that I have to take a break here to go beat the dogs here in just a minute. Atlantica. Now this is a level that normally you would skip while you're trying to do a speed run, but I think we should have enough time to do it, so we're going to do it. Because it's part of the story. Yeah, I don't know that I'm going to make it past 9 p.m. I may end up finishing this tomorrow or some other time. I really wanted to get through the whole story today, but when I thought I was going to get through the whole story today, part of that was that I thought it took 10 hours, not 15. Um, there are one, two, three, five-ish more worlds to do. Land where? The sea will drown. Not with my magic, we won't. Just leave it to me. So my original idea was that it would be like from 10 to 8, and I wasn't planning to take quite so many breaks as I have had to take. But I wasn't planning on my entire family going somewhere else and leaving me with the dogs and having to deal with all that, so... That kind of changed the plans a little bit. We got... Goofy turned into a turtle, we got Donald turns into an octopus, and we got Sora turns Come into a mermaid. Ariel, wait, slow yes, down. quite, quite Don't different. Instead of 8 p.m., you're looking at 1 a.m., and I've had to take all these breaks. I checked my PS3 playthrough. I did that one in 11 hours. So it should be possible <laughs> to beat this Sebastian? in probably 12 hours like since I'm adding head. an extra world, but I still right, don't know Parker? that I'll make it. I don't know. There's something weird about them. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Mm, they do seem a little different. Where are you from? Uh, we're from kind of far away. And Smooth. we're not really used to these waters. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. In that case, uh, Sebastian can show you how we swim around here. Ariel, I like how there's an assumption that there's different oh, ways of worry. swimming. Easy for you to say. It's time to learn how to swim properly. Use the left stick to swim around, press the circle to rise, and the square to dive. Release them to stop, release the rising or diving. Practice swimming with Flounder. Try to tag him. It's Donald. Donald Duck. Daffy is something else entirely. What are you doing? What is? What do you think this is? All right, begin. So you can you can rise, you can lower, but really the way to actually do this is to lock on. If you lock on, you'll just swim to whatever they're at. See, I he's lower than me. I lock on, I swim down. There he is. So that's the much easier way to deal with. The, uh, the necessity of swimming in a three-dimensional environment. So we gotta practice our swimming. Almost there. Where'd you go? Oh. Oh, he's up. Okay, well, sometimes you have to do a little bit of rising. The controls are a little finicky, but it is really neat, and it works really well considering this is mostly a one-level gimmick. Good job! No, let's move on to self-defense! Sebastian! <laughs> yeah? Right. You teach me how to use my keyblade, Sebastian. That makes perfect sense. Is over. <laughs> we got some unique looking heartless. So you know, Square Enix kind of took the same approach that I did with my video game. Hey, it's a water level. Let's do things completely different. Sebastian would look weird as a lobster. Wouldn't anyone look that's not a lobster look weird as a lobster?
I'm also tired, but I still know Donald when I see him. Hitting it might open it. And a save point. True. They are the roaches of the sea. Those creatures chased us here. Oh no, those creatures might be heading for the palace too. Yeah, my Sebastian is even worse than this guy's. We'd better head back right away. But what, what if we run into more on our way back? I'm sorry, but we need your help. Please come to the palace with us. The trident markers on the walls point the way there. We won't get lost as long as we follow them. Okay, let's get going. Don't do that again. Aw. How am I going to get better if I don't practice? Alright, I'm going to save. Alright, let's. I'm going to get moving here. But... I'm thinking... I'm thinking we're not going to make it all the way tonight. So what I'm thinking is... Maybe... Maybe we call it about 8 o'clock. So uh, a little less than two hours from now. Yes, I know it was terrible. I've done worse. Believe me. Um, so I'm thinking we'll call it about 8 o'clock. And... <clears throat> um, so we'll finish it maybe tomorrow. But I was curious what everybody thought about uh, when tomorrow might be the best time for them. I can pretty much do any time. So if there's a time that there's a consensus it's better at, then that's the time I'll do. that's p.m. because when I said I could do just about any time tomorrow 5 a.m. was not on my radar just for the record Come on. yeah that's what I was thinking I mean, like, if literally everyone said, no, 5 a.m. is the best time, I'd have made it work because the show must go on. But, uh, yeah, no. It would have taken, it would have taken everyone saying, please, this time. I don't blame you. I saw 5 a.m. this morning, but it was not, it was not, uh... Uh, by choice. That was purely my body refusing to cooperate with me. Uh, so it sounds like evening is the best time. Sounds like it needs to be after your meeting. Um, 7 o'clock? 8 o'clock? Does that sound good? Insomnia is really dumb. I'm so proud of you, Rose. How likely is 7 p.m. to work for you, Tally? Eight? Okay. Then we'll aim for eight, and uh, we won't hold up for Tally, but we'll hope she's there, if that sounds good for everybody. So we'll stop at eight tonight and start at eight tomorrow, and we will pretend that the intervening 24 hours didn't exist and that I really did play the entire game in a single play session. Sound good? Sounds good. Uh, 
Uh, well, we'll do... We're gonna play another couple hours now. Right? And we said it's gonna be... I, I'm estimating 12 to 13 hours total. So that'll be... Three or four hours of additional play tomorrow. Which I can totally do. As if I have gotten some sleep... And I should be able to sleep in tomorrow. Um, as opposed to today. Uh, where I was getting up early and didn't sleep at all. So... That, I won't have a problem going that late tomorrow. And I have... I took Tuesday off specifically so that I would not feel guilty about doing this all day today. So I should be able to go. Well, if worst comes to worst, I'll take a nap tomorrow. I'll do it. Don't even push me. But I don't want to... I don't want to push anyone else. I know you said you'd stay, you could maybe stay up till 9 and I don't want to push you to staying up till 9 because you think you gotta stay up for me. And I'm not sure I should go to 9 even if I think I could. So we'll be, we'll just do it, you know, we'll do what we're doing. We've got a good plan, we'll stick to it, it'll be great. We'll have fun. It'll be more fun if we're all a little bit less tired, I think. I hope, I pray. Let's see if I can get to the palace this time. There we go. Okay, well. This will give you a chance to do your own thing until 9. I'm not messing with you guys. I'm not playing your silly stop games. I have accomplished a goal. Miracles do happen. I just want to stop. I know. The biggest problem with Atlantica is trying to collect all the bubbles. All the money and the, the mana bubbles and the health, pu health bubbles. Come on. Because those will just float everywhere and you can't target those to swim at them. You just kind of gotta guess. And I still don't have a treasure magnet for Sora. So we should be able to at least get through Atlantica and <laughs> Yeah, it can be. I used to know all the lyrics, I forgot them. Should be able to get through Atlantic and at least one more world before we call it a night, I think. That was too close. As long as I have my trident, I will not tolerate those creatures. Inside this palace! Daddy? Oh, Ariel! When will you listen? It's dangerous out there! Um. Strange creatures lurk outside. Strange creatures. <laughs> Behold! You swim before the ruler of the seas! His Majesty, King Triton! And who are they? They helped us fight off those creatures. They don't look familiar. We're from an ocean. The camera doing very like water away. effects right now? Because yep. I feel like Nothing's I'm tripping. We came to find the keyhole. The what? What's that? <laughs> well, it's a... There's no such thing. Certainly not. Good here. job, not but meddling, Daddy. Goofy. Ariel, not another word. 
You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? Perhaps I'm being too strict. Maybe I'm more tired than I thought. I'm just concerned for her safety. Of course, Your Majesty. But I must admit, now I'm quite curious about this keyhole. That need not concern you, Sebastian. Have you anything to report? Just as you suspected, your <laughs> you're telling majesty, me you can't see like rippling going on right now. Auto. I knew it. That sea witch is up to no good again. I see exile from the palace has taught her nothing. Yes, she poses serious danger. And I told you to keep Ariel away from such danger, did I not? Your majesty, please, I. <sighs> Thank you.